Today, I'm going to teach you how to crochet a trendy beach tassel bag. This bag is similar to the small net bag I taught you before. The crochet method is almost the same. Both are crocheted vertically. The bag is designed with two thin shoulder straps. It's very refreshing to carry in the summer. I used number three lace yarn for the thread. Paired with a 2.5 millimeters crochet hook, the internal capacity is quite large. If considering the load bearing capacity, it is recommended to use an inner bag. Next, let's take a look at the effect of wearing it in the internal capacity. Let's start crocheting. We use the method of slip stitch for the starting chain. First, make a slip knot on your finger. Insert the crochet hook into the slip knot. Crochet 164 chain stitches. After crocheting 164 chain stitches, crochet a standing stitch. Then return to the second last stitches. Pick the back loop of the stitch, which is its discontinuity. Crochet a single crochet. Return to the second last stitches. Pick the discontinuity. Single crochet stitch method. Wrap the yarn around the crochet hook to form a loop. Now there are two loops on the crochet hook. Pull the yarn through the two loops on the crochet hook in one go. This is a single crochet. Next, follow the same method. Continue crocheting 9 single crochets. Please like, subscribe, share, and support with tips. Simultaneously crochet 10 single crochets. Next, we crochet the hollow part. First crochet 8 chain stitches. Then skip 8 stitches below without crocheting. In the 9th stitches. At the back discrete place. Crochet a single crochet. We have completed crocheting a hollow. Next, continue crocheting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 chain stitches. Skip 8 stitches below without crocheting. Arrive at the 9th stitches. At the back discrete place, crochet a single crochet to join. Repeat crocheting in this way. Continue crocheting. When doing the last group, continue crocheting. We count 8 stitches and do not crochet to the 9th stitches. Crochet a single crochet to join. There should be 9 stitches left unhooked. We come to the other side. At the beginning, we crocheted 10 single crochet. So on the front, we also crocheted a total of 10 single crochet. We continue to pick up the remaining stitches. Crochet the remaining 9 single crochet.
Continue crocheting. We crochet a standing stitch. Turn the piece over. Continue crocheting single crochet on the back. Let's take a look. Thread from the center of the braid to the outside. It's the outer half stitch. The inner half stitch is threaded inwards. When crocheting single crochet, only pick the inner half stitch to crochet. A total of 10 inner half stitch single crochet are crocheted. Crochet another stitch. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, and support with tips. Continue to crochet 8 chain stitches. Then come to the place where the previous round was crocheted with single crochet. Crochet a single crochet. Then continue to crochet 8 chain stitches. Come to the second single crochet. Continue to crochet single crochet. Next, repeat the crochet. Continue to crochet 10 single crochet. When we crochet, we only pick the inner half stitch. Continue to crochet 10 single crochet. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, and support with tips. This inner half stitch is every two rows. Pick once every two rows. And what we are crocheting now is the third row. We don't need to pick in the third row. In the third row, we pick up complete stitches. Crochet 10 single crochet. Pick up complete stitches. And then continue. Crochet like this. Next is to repeat continuously the crochet method of the second and third rows. Just keep repeating and crocheting the second and third rows. After we finish crocheting, this is how we crochet vertically. After we finish crocheting, we will fold the body of the bag like this. Fold the bag mouth inwards. After folding, we will go from the side to give it a border. A border. Next, we crochet according to the pattern. Crochet continuously for 60 rows. To teach everyone how to count the rows, we can see the two lines in between. This large interval represents two rows. At the beginning, there is a small one. This small one represents one row. The large one represents two rows. So counting goes like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
we count like this. We need to crochet a total of 60 rows. Let's take a look. After crocheting 60 rows, let's take a look. This is its backside. We flip it to the front. From the front, we can see. There are vertical lines at its mouth position. This is our front. After we finish crocheting, you can see it is a long strip of fabric like this. A total of 60 rows. Let's take another look. Our back. We see it is a long strip of fabric like this. A total of 60 rows. Then we flip it to the front. Fold. After folding, crochet hook. Insert into the last stitches. Continue to crochet a chain stitch. Then the two pieces of the mouth. Continue to crochet a chain stitch. Insert into the last stitches. Continue to crochet a chain stitch. Then stack the two pieces of the mouth together. Pass through the first stitch position of the upper fabric. Then pass through the first stitch position of the lower fabric. Crochet hook around the yarn. Pull out a loop. Crochet a single crochet stitch. A total of 10 single crochet stitches at the mouth position. Continue to crochet a single crochet stitch. After crocheting 10 single crochet stitches, continue to crochet 8 chain stitches. Then come to the front single crochet. Pass through both the front and back pieces. Crochet a single crochet stitch. Then continue to crochet 8 chain stitches. Come to the next single crochet, pass through the front piece. Then pass through the back pieces single crochet. Crochet a single crochet stitch together. Then repeat the crochet. Keep crocheting until the last stitches. We have now crocheted to the last stitches, here. Only need to pick the outer two strands. Crochet a single crochet stitch. Then crochet a slip stitch. Cut the yarn. Pull the yarn end out. Hide the yarn end. This completes the edging on one side. The edging on the other side is also completed. The method for the edging on the other side is the same. Insert the crochet hook through the first stitch of the front piece. Then insert through the first stitch of the back piece. Bring in a new yarn. Crochet a foundation chain stitch. Then insert through the first stitches of the front and back pieces again. Continue with a single crochet. Here we will crochet a total of 10 single crochets. Next, we continue crocheting the strap. First, make a slip knot on the finger. Secure the hook and start crocheting. Crochet a total of 150 chain stitches. The length of the strap. We crochet according to our own needs. If you prefer it shorter, then start with fewer chain stitches. If you prefer it longer, 
Then start with more chain stitches. I have started with 150 chain stitches here. After crocheting 150 chain stitches, we hook a standing stitch. Then return to the second to last stitches. Pick up the back loop. Hook 150 single crochet stitches. After hooking, we hook a standing stitch. Cut the yarn. Cut the yarn. Pull out the scissors. Then when we sew, just use this sewing needle to sew. With the sewing needle. Then the position where we sew. Approximately. It's at. Counting from the side, 12,345,678,910, approximately lines 15 and 16. It's also about the same on the side, 12,345,678,910. One hundred eleven billion two hundred thirteen million one hundred forty one thousand five hundred sixteen. Approximately.